It's an open secret that one of the most valuable references available for construction material testing labs has long been included with every copy of ASTM Volume 4.02 Concrete and Aggregate Testing. The Manual of Aggregate and Concrete Testing, or as it's commonly called the Gray Pages, is a user-friendly ASTM guide to performing concrete and aggregate tests efficiently while conforming to the test specifications. The manual has a number designation R0030 and is not an ASTM standard, nor is it written in mandatory language style used in standard practice and test method documents, but is written in simple language shaped by practical experience by ASTM members with a wide and deep real-world background in concrete and aggregate testing. This manual is intended to supplement and is not meant to supersede in any way the various ASTM test methods for sampling and testing aggregate and freshly mixed or hardened concrete. Initially, the Gray Pages emphasizes successful day-to-day -day materials testing laboratory practices, such as the importance of keeping current versions of relevant standards on hand, qualifications of laboratory personnel, maintenance of testing equipment, laboratory inspections, and safety. But the bulk of the publication is devoted to focusing on individual test methods. Here are a few examples of where the Manual for Aggregate and Concrete Testing functions as a guide for the standard methods and practices. For ASDM Standard C136, Standard Test Method for Sieve Analysis of Fine and Coarse Aggregates, the manual provides a bigger picture of the test method. Sieving equipment, sieving technique, and sieve maintenance are discussed. Part of this section also provides a definition and function of fineness modules that go beyond just the calculations. For the ASDM standard C231, standard test method for air content of freshly mixed concrete by pressure method, the Gray Pages discuss how tests can be greatly affected by leaks that may occur in several places on the apparatus. The method goes into greater detail about diagnosing problems with air and water leaks than the test standard. ASDM C39's Standard Test Method for Compressive Strength of Cylindrical Concrete Specimens requires numerous checks for concrete cylinder dimensions and alignment during testing. The manual illustrates acceptable practices to perform this. The ASTM standard C511-13, standard specifications for mixing rooms, moist cabinets, moist rooms, and water storage tanks used in the testing of hydraulic cements and concretes, lists a variety of acceptable practices. The Manual of Aggregate and Concrete Testing discusses the pros and cons of these different methods from moist rooms to curing tanks. These are but a few of the 40 topics discussed in ASDM's Gray Pages. For any questions on ASDM's Manual of Aggregate and Concrete Testing, or as it's commonly called, the Gray Pages, or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson Technical Support Team.